Namaste, my beautiful souls. I have tried already this method uh, last uh, last time. And my beautiful queens, I want to try this method again. I want to um, show you Celtic cross. First of all, I will show you how to put it down. But we also are going to do the reading for you. So whatever cards we're going to put down, we are going to read. Uh, as you saw in, uh, past, uh, uh, in past reading, that Celtic cross is um, uh, the most uh, known, the most famous, the most reliable spread. I already showed you variation about the spread of the spread now i will show you another very variation of that spread you can use that one which you saw previously but i will show you the one which you specifically use on a relation on ships you want to see the relationship but mostly from his point of view because of course this is why we usually do readings we want to see the relationship from his point of view what is there he's thinking feeling how things really are so first of all i am going to explain you but then we also are going to do the reading about it so asking the spirits of fire earth air air and water the guides and the keepers the guardians to give us the answers uh to our uh, questions uh to my forehead to my mouth to my heart so card number one card number one base of this relationship how things are the base first card the base we see seven of wands so i'm gonna read it after we all have it right here so you can see how it's done and uh, this is the base of this relationship uh, this is from his point of view now what crosses it what helps in this relationship what is the obstacles in this relationship from his point again we are doing the celtic cross on relationship from his point and we are having seven of <laughs> not a good one seven of swords but we will read how we i'm sorry this is falling so next what he thinks about you how he sees you we're gonna put it on the top next his feelings here a font next what he hides on the bottom player two of pentacles and this is already obvious that it was there next his plans I'm going to put it like this. His plans. Queen of Pentacles is his plans. Now, last four cards. Him in this relationship. King of Cups. Eight. You in this relationship. Ah, he already left this guy or going to live. It's good. Now, his hopes and fears tower and outcome of the whole thing. Queen of Cups. You know, this is so clear. So now you see how the Celtic cross shows you everything pretty clearly. And uh, as far as I, as I see, I think you can see this pretty clearly. So let us read it. But those of you who are watching me long enough already, of course, 
know uh, how things are. So the base of this relationship for him is the seven of wands. And obviously, of course, we look at the whole picture. So let's see the cards separately. And then we are looking uh, at uh, the whole picture. So, of course, the base of this relationship is seven of wands. From his point of view, that uh, in this relationship, if he wants to stay, he clearly sees and he clearly understands that he has to fight in order to be with you, which you are obviously here uh, are the Queen of Cups, which we see the outcome card right here. Uh, obviously, this man uh, sees that in order to stay and be with the a woman like you, he has to fight. But what exactly he's fighting with? Are these circumstances? Are these people? Are these uh, maybe uh, his relatives or, or your relatives or something like this? Because we have here Queen of Pentacles and here a font. And in the middle we have Seven of Swords. This, if you did this uh, spread for someone, it obviously shows here possibly the uh, third party relationship. We see queen number one, queen number two here a font and seven of swords and a player. We see here the man who is trying to play with two women. When we see queen of pentacles, uh, usually it represents uh, the wife especially if in the whole spread we see hero font and card like this. Uh, if it's not a married man, so um, if you got the request for the reading, then you see all this. In this case, you usually uh, ask your client, please tell me, is this man married? Because very often your client does not want to tell you that she's in third party relationship. But when you see this, look at this hero font, uh, cheating, queen of pentacles, tower, eight of cups, player, two of pentacles, two women he is playing with. If you see it, then you need to ask, okay, honey, are you dealing with a married man here? So usually this case in this case um you um your client probably will tell you yes he's married i didn't want to tell uh, or can it be that your client your woman has no idea that this man is married it can be you know he he doesn't have uh, his marriage certificate with him he doesn't carry it in his pocket so it can be that he is, you know, she doesn't know. In this case, you, of course, have to tell, you have to warn your client, honey, because we see all the uh, very, uh, very big player here. Here is the King of Cups in its negative aspect of uh, broken hearts and women who were trying to make his heart melt right here his uh, narcissistic uh, narcissistic uh, lying cheating playing games so uh, of course in this case you would ask um, or you just met a man or you just met a man uh, two weeks ago and he didn't tell you you know he has someone he doesn't have someone so you want to know how this whole situation is going to be developing uh, so uh, you know what to do about him what not to do about him and then what and then we see this whole thing in the Celtic cross and you understand that you know the worst thing you can do is to, to start something with this man. He's definitely not a man to start any relationship with. So uh, seven of, so he met you, he, we see the whole picture. He meets you, Queen of Cups, 
Queen of Cups, beautiful, wonderful, gentle, um, kind, sensual, sincere, uh, incredible, the best, the quintessence of a woman, of woman perfection. He already has the woman right here. A queen of pentacles already, if it's not a wife, but there is already a woman who exists in his wife. And he understands that in order to be uh, with the queen of cups, which is you right here, he needs to fight. What he needs to fight, he needs to fight with his own ways of having things because you don't have to be a tarot reader to know seven of swords because seven quadrillion gazillion of times i explained you seven of swords a man who is stealing swords in the middle middle of the night so we are having a liar and a cheat uh, but professional who gives the mask of a uh, uh, man from dreams uh, and uh, he knows exactly what he's doing it's a card of a serious very serious deceit uh, very serious deceit so he sees you a queen of cups he wants to have you of course because you are this amazing trophy uh, but he knows that in order to be with you uh, he would have to because the problem is for him not for you the problem is for him that queen of cups you're right here are is very intuitive <clears throat> it's an intuitive woman so he can't you know you can fool queen of cups but not for very long time she sees through the lies so he sees a queen of cups he can't resist queen of cups and we have seven of swords so he decides to go for it he decides to have his risks so he's wearing a mask of king of cups of charming wonderful deep great woman because he can't miss such a trophy because this is a trophy this is how he has the women uh, to be his trophy he cannot he's seen it all he done it all he knows how to touch he knows how to talk he knows how to if you find if you find him I already said if you find him in the bed with a woman naked he will convince you that he had a, a professional massage done to him so betrayal manipulator uh narcissist really really big narcissist look at this two card that's why i tell you you have to see uh, the cards uh all of them together so uh this is the base and this is what crossing it then <coughs> We will see uh, what he uh, uh, what he thinks about you, and um, how he sees you, then his feelings and what he hides. And we are having Hierophant. We are having King of Cups. I'm sorry, no, no, King of Cups was here. We are having King of Cups, and we are having uh, the uh, Two of Pentacles. Of course, obviously, uh, he hides that simple fact that he is playing a game here but there is something important i want to tell you uh, i believe that this whole situation because we have the seven uh, uh we have the card number seven eight nine ten right here we are seeing uh, the uh, uh you in relationship and we are seeing you leaving and then uh we see uh, the towers in his hopes and the queen of cups so the thing is that um you have left already i believe this is not your present relationship uh, i believe for most of you this is the relationship which you've had already but let us go back to our celtic cross so we see uh, his feelings, what he hides, and his plans. Uh, his feelings, what uh, his feelings here are found. Unfortunately, here are found in connection with all these cards means that he presents himself as Hierophant because look at this. Please understand Hierophant next to this and next to this. 
as I said, please look at the cards together. I'm doing this reading so you can see how cards influence in each other. Feelings, uh, we are seeing here of fond. So he shows, and this is what he hides two of pentacles playing. He shows himself as a hierophant, and he shows that he has serious feelings. But unfortunately, we already know that this is not true. Uh, and uh, what he hides in his plans, um, of course, unfortunately, show us that uh, he is playing, planning, or was planning, if it was in the past, to have you uh, as a game in which he would win, to have you believe that he's a true king of cups in its best aspects, aspect, and to have a you um, standing behind him here as his trophy, just like that. The five of, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Queen of Pentacles, when we see uh, two queens in the reading, it always means two women. I already said it's probably a wife, but probably a woman he's also playing with, because right here we have two of Pentacles, and this two of Pentacles is you and Queen of Pentacles. So it's a professional player and a pick-upper. He unfortunately playing his game very professionally and knows how to do it. But at the same time, at the same time, and he shows himself in this relationship as a king of cups, and he shows that his feelings are noble and intentions are noble when in fact unfortunately we're having a different picture now uh you in relationship obviously why i think it was already in the past you understood this game already or you understand this game now or you will understand this game in nearest future. As I see it, I think this situation has already happened. You saw all the games of we are having King of Cups in his negative aspect. Liar, cheat, player, and a manipulator. But I repeat, as Queen of Cups, very intuitive and can see such games, this is what happened because we see the outcome. And outcome, we are having the Queen of Cups. And in connection with card number eight, her in this relationship, we see that Queen of Cups left all of this lying, cheating game. Because Queen of Cups is not going <laughs> to really allow anyone to, to play with her. And at the same time, hope of this man, his hopes and fears, we see a tower. And it means that he hoped that you're not going to break up with him. And the dream was that you're not going to break up with him, that you are going to absolutely believe his bullshit, forgive my language. But that's absolutely not happening here. Whether it's a married man or it's not a married man, we are dealing with the uh, absolute uh example of a negative king of cups because him in this relationship considers himself king of cups he considers that he plays or played his game so perfectly that there is no way 
you would figure things out and leave him. So he hoped that you would not break up with him, but still he had his fears that you would. And this is exactly what happens. You in this relationship, you're figuring out the moon, the moon which is a deceit, the moon which is the game, the moon which is insincerity, the moon which is a double face. You figure it out because you are too intuitive yourself. You're figuring it out, you're breaking up with him. And the outcome of the whole situation, we are having you sitting on your throne, in your power, in peace. So this is Celtic cross for relationship. If it was, um, if you put yourself into this spread, I believe that this is the situation which has happened already because of these two cards so this is how you look at the whole picture from the point of view mostly of a man so we have the base of his relationship of, with you from his point we are having what's crossing from his point, what will help him, what he has to do, or what will be an obstacle for him to get what he wants, crossing. Then we have his feelings. Then we have what he hides. Then we have his plans. Then we have uh, him in the relationship. Then we have you and relationship his fears and his doubts, uh, his fears and his hopes, I'm sorry, fears and hopes, and the outcome. Just like that. Uh, another thing um, here. Look at the cards in its connection with each other, usually. You first always read them separately, and then you look at the whole thing. But usually in Celtic Cross, these cards right here shows you pretty much the situation which you are dealing now or had been dealing in nearest past or still dealing. And usually this shows the future. So, him, King of Cups, you in a relationship, leaving it, his hopes that you're not going to break up with him, you connect this with this and this. Last three cards show us that Queen of Cups breaks up and leaves the King of Pentacles. I'm sorry, King of, King of Cups. So, if it's a married man, unfortunately, we only can feel sorry for the... Uh, his a spouse who is a queen of pentacles if this man is not married but uh, obviously playing around and has at least two women he tries to play his dirty games with uh, then unfortunately we we are having the uh, good uh, situation for the queen of cups who figures out pretty quickly who she is dealing with so this is an example of a Celtic cross for the relationship from his point of view. I hope it was helpful and I hope you know uh, more about Celtic cross now. There are many variations of Celtic cross. I showed you already one and you could use that one for relationship as well. This is a variation for specifically rela relationship from his point, and this is very good for people. A woman just met this man two days ago, or two weeks ago, or two months ago, and um, she likes him, and she started to fall in love with him. So she wants to know, okay, what, where it is all going, what this man is all about what this man wants, what this man hopes for, 
what this what he, this man plans about me how this whole thing is gonna end uh this is perfectly showing you who you're dealing with in this case you pretty much see everything even you know this is an example and you tell your woman if she's sitting in front of you or doing it on a phone or you're doing it uh on the um you know like a video a video recorded reading this is clearly showing you you tell her you know uh this is what you are dealing with so do you want to keep on doing something with this man obviously uh, if it's about the future, then she's going to break up with him. Literally, this shows and she's going to leave him. She doesn't need a man like this. Queen of Cups doesn't need a guy like this. You know, Queen of Cups needs not a, a negative aspect of King of Cups. Because this is him uh, pretending to be a, a King of Cups. But if we look at the rest of the cards... He's only pretending to be only wearing a mask so he can charm the uh, Queen of Cups and, and the Queen of Pentacles as well. If this is not a wife. So this is an example how cards can help you not to waste your time on someone. But if it's again, I'm repeating, if it's about you, specifically if you were thinking about yourself, uh, I believe that uh, this situation had already happened. And because at the beginning of the reading I did not put time frames, uh, then I believe this is already done deal for you. I hope, my dear beautiful uh, souls, it was helpful. Now you know how to do another Celtic cross. And please write me in a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for uh, listening and uh, watching. And namaste. I hope it's going to be good on the video.